Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today's video is another makeup ma monthly makeup favorites and fails. I have done this intro like four times and I can't get it right. There's something just like twisting my tongue today but we're gonna work through it. Today we're doing my favorites and fails for July 2021. We are like getting through 2021 pretty quickly here. I have a lot of good stuff. Some stuff is just kind of okay and I didn't have that many fails this month honestly. I didn't try too much makeup. I've been focused on like getting ready to move in the beginning of September and I'm very excited about it just for like a new environment. Harping it like spark my creativity again and then really working on expanding my brand theopencrypt.com. Also I just launched it's showtime candles like a Beetlejuice theme and I love the way they smell but anyways let's get straight into the favorites and fails I'm gonna do them in no particular order so okay usually when I do these videos I do palettes last because you know I feel like we just work our way up to palettes which is what everyone's favorite thing is but I'm kind of feeling just talking about palettes today so let's go ahead and start off with palettes I have a lot of color pop because you know I'm not really trying to spend too much money on like makeup and stuff lately especially since my creativity has just not been there so i've been like you know if i'm gonna get something it's gonna be affordable so firstly is this ColourPop lust for dusk palette this is available at ulta this palette you guys is boring i said it on filter opinions video it's boring a lot of people are gonna be like Meh, on it but i think it's really pretty because it has kind of a cooler tone but it still has different tones of pink and everything and orangey tones so this is the beautiful eyeshadow palette i quite enjoy it now i do not love it as much as i thought i was going to just because i did wish there was a little bit like a couple deeper mattes in here because even these two are the darkest mattes in here they're not like pop standoffish like amazingly good quality it's just an okay average color pop palette and i do like that a majority of the shadows are mattes so that's a pretty good bonus for me it's just not perfect like i would redesign this and make a couple shades kind of deeper but overall it is pretty and worth the money especially because i like they're kind of like halfway big size palettes the next one from color pop is so pretty like i look at it i'm like okay there's only a couple looks i would do with it but other people could do like a million looks with it because they're gonna reach for different colors than me but this is the cabana the cabana club i always want to say club cabana but it's cabana club eyeshadow palette look at this beautiful florally pattern this right here is so so pretty so when i see it i'm like oh there's these beautiful pop of yellow there's this orangey shade we have that bright blue we have these neutrals that could be like everyday colors which is what i've been using this palette for personally but then by like everyone else has it they're gonna reach this deep blue pair it with this purple and all kinds of fun things so there is a good variety of shadows in here it's a good mix of both mattes and shimmers so overall i think this palette's really pretty i don't think i reach for it as much as some other ones but like when i do a look with it it's either yellow or like a nude or like yellow in the inner crease and kind of nude neutral like peachy shades or the pinky or the brown in my crease it works out it's very pretty taking a brief break from the color pop palettes let's talk about my most used palette this month by far i've had it for about two weeks and i use it like three times a week four times a week and I am wearing it today and I just, it's like my easiest go-to thing. It's a palette that I wanted from this brand for a while specifically. So this is the Alter Ego Shadow Kiss Eyeshadow Palette. Now I am an affiliate with Alter Ego. You can use code porcelain or my link to save money off Alter Ego's palettes. They're already affordable. And what I've been asking for like the last time I reviewed one of their palettes, I was like, please make a dupe for the Natasha Nota Glam Palette. And they did it. And you know, like, she's a beauty. So this is the Shadow Kiss palette. It has this beautiful, like, mix of neutrals, but it's also browns. Has a little bit of pink thrown in here too, which I think is really pretty. But it's not like a in-your-face intense pink. And I just love the way it performs. I love the way it looks in my eyes. Like, every look comes out so beautifully, seamlessly pushed together and lovely. Now, the Natasha Nona Glam palette is gorgeous, and I have thought about buying it because I love cool tones that are just easy to mix and make a creative, beautiful look out of and look effortless at the same time, but I couldn't justify the money. So the fact that this is way more affordable and if I want to buy an extra one, I can use my own code is pretty great. So <laughs> I just love it. I just like, I don't have to think about it. When I'm reaching for this palette, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll put like a couple of these browns in my crease, maybe darken up the outer corner and I can pick whatever shimmer I want, smack it on my, with my finger and it's all gonna look beautiful and effortless. And I think that's what I've been into lately. Like this is kind of like my go-to eye look besides the bottom lashes. I haven't been doing the bottom lashes, but it's just, I've been doing it like three times a week at least. I do have two other ColourPop things that I'm going to talk about because I did review them. So we have the Cherry Crush collection. If you want to see the reviews of any of these things that I have dedicated reviews for, I'll leave them linked down below. 
but this is the Cherry Crush palette. I like this because it has a pure, has a pure red in here, not just like pinky tones. It has pink in here too because Jerry cherries can come off pink, but I like the fact that this had like a pure red in here, a shimmer and a matte. And I just really wanted to try it out. I thought it was so pretty. Definitely not like something I'm going to use every single day because, you know, you're eventually going to stain your eyelids that way. But what I do love, 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 love from that collection is the little hand mirror. The little hand mirror is so pretty. I think it's so cute. I love it. I just love little tiny hand mirrors. And here's one for my brand. <laughs> oh my god, look how cute. I, I, I didn't think I'd ever show that. I... Okay, so that mirror I just showed is going to be limited edition. I only have a limited stock of them. I've made maybe 40 of them. And they're just really hard to manufacture by hand. And they always want to, like, the mirrors will just sink or something wants to go wrong or they don't harden properly. So I'm so glad I have some of them that worked out and I can put as a limited edition item on my shop. They're so cute. They're just so cute. And they come in different colors. Let me show you a pink one. They come in different colors. Now, like, the darker the color is, of course, you're not going to see the mirror through it as much. But I just think these are so cute. They're so cute. I'm happy we got some of them that worked out. Next up, I did a cute little Powerpuff Girl video <laughs> where I did, like, a blossom look with red wig and everything. But the ColourPop, bl um, bleh, I almost said Blossom Palette, Powerpuff Girl Palette is really nice packaging. It has a really heavy mirror and it folds all the way back effortlessly. The color scheme in it is cute. There's something a little bit off about it. I still can't put my, like, my tongue on. My tongue on? My thought on? I can't put my... I can't like, put my finger on it is what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it. Something about this doesn't seem exactly right for the collection. But overall, it did perform well and the look was very pretty. And there's only one glitter in here, which is great. But I think if Color Possible put glitters in every palette, that would have been the palette you put glitters in. But whatever. And then the blush from the collection I love way more than the palette. This is Saving the World. There's two blushes in the collection. This one's like the orangey, more neutrally one that's easier for everybody to wear. And I love it so much. It's actually my blush today, but I'm only wearing a very small amount of it. Okay, next up, let's talk about some stuff from that Jeffree Star Summer Mystery Box. That was a lot. It was like a lot. I was like, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't exactly what I expected. And everybody read me in the comments and be like, it was never an exclusive. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It was said in an Instagram post that it was going to be an exclusive. But, you know, if he, he changed his mind afterwards, that's fine. I'm just sticking to my original story that I did see in an Instagram post that it was going to be an exclusive. But, you know, I'm just saying it. But this is the Star Ranch palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Available next summer, apparently. But the Star Ranch palette, I thought it was going to have a pink in it because all the packaging and the front cover and everything was pink. But the inside isn't. It's a very western Wyoming story, color story, which I still think is very pretty. It reminds me of the Ivy palette from Sigma. But overall, the quality of the palette is really nice. Like, there's no shade in here that disappoints me. I think it's really pretty. I would just tweak the color scheme a little bit. If we're going to stick to, like, an all-ranch color scheme and nothing weird in it, I would take away some of the blues. We don't need four blues. I would like to see some, like, brick reds or maybe even some deeper browns. Something. Maybe, you know, like, a green for, like, all those... Like, we have a, a mossy green, maybe a brighter green. I just think there's a lot of blue in here. But overall, palette performs very nicely, and I'm curious as like the what the retail value of that is because I don't really know. The other thing that I've been tying from the uh, mystery box is the Jeffree Star lip balm. So this is one of the new things. It's an exclusive color. This one is in the shade Cowboy Kiss. It's a very nice component. It's like a heavy plastic. When his original lipsticks came in like a very cheap not great plastic. This feels better. It feels more luxurious and I like the shiny kind of metal. But this is like a brown lip balm kind of moment. When I wear it, I don't get too much color on my lips. But I feel like that's what I want in a lip balm. It's not a stain. It's not a liquid lipstick. It's not a stick lipstick. It is a lip balm. So I get a little bit of a tint. I get a little bit of like, like a moisture shine on the lips. And I think it's very nice. Now it is kind of inconsistent. Because I'll get color instead of my lips. And I can't really get it to like put color where I want it to. On like the edge of my lips to make them still look, you know, a little more filled in. But... It works great as a lip balm either way. I just don't like that it's like chocolate scented. Like you can tell me it's not chocolate scented, but it is. Like it's chocolate scented. That's the only thing I don't like. I don't eat chocolate. One fail that I had this month for sure, but already decluttered was the new Essence Mascara, the pink one. I love their Lash Princess Mascara. I think they're absolutely amazing. But that one, the new pink one, was just flaky. I did do a video reviewing seven different mascaras. So I tested one every day of the week. And like tried it on, showed you like clips of it being applied, told you my pros and cons per one. 
And I just, um, I did not like the pink one, so that was a fail, but I did declutter it because I was due decluttering this month as well. But I did have two favorites from that video, and these are really good. So I have the Uoma Drama Bomb mascara and the man eater from Tarte. Both very popular mascaras, especially the man eater one. I really, really love them both because they have different types of wands. So the man eater comes with a more narrow wand, which typically I'm like anti-narrow wand. I almost want kind of fluffy. But it works really well and it's very black. And then we have the Uoma Drama Bomb, which has my favorite kind of wand, like a fat but kind of tapers in the middle. This one's actually my mascara of today. I don't know if we can even tell because I have lashes on both top and bottom, but they're both really solid mascaras. Wear, really wear well, well rounded. They're very dark and black. They're very, they saturate the lashes without being too wet or too dry. So that's a good consistency to them. And they do both volume and length, which I need because I need more volume than length to be honest. Cause I'm going to put top lashes on as long as we have a little bit of volume to make it look like I'm not setting lashes on top of nothing, we're good. But these were really good and I especially like to see how they look on my bottom lashes. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know something you're loving or hating in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you guys are trying. Again, I'm not sure how much makeup I'll be reviewing lately. I kind of want to diversify my content a little bit. So, like, do some lifestyle stuff. Maybe do some packing videos. Do all kinds of stuff with you guys that's not just reviewing a product. You know, I just want to mix it up a little bit. And hopefully my inspiration for stuff will come back soon. But thank you guys so much. If you're not subscribe to my channel already. I greatly appreciate if you did that. And you can also check out my brand, theopencrypt.com and at theopencrypt on Instagram. I have a whole bunch of new stuff I'm working on really hard, which is probably why I'm just like creatively drained because I've been working on that so much. But if you guys ever support that, I really appreciate it. It's like, it's a passion project for me right now. And I thank you so much. So thank you guys. I hope you have a great day. I can't talk. I hope you have a great day. And I promise I'll be back to normal being able to talk soon.